Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. Pumped it good too. Whoa, little bass pull. Oh, on that light tackle, that is so much fun. Ooh. Strip that drag. <laughs> All right, man. Frog got you, didn't it? You through? All right, come up here. Easy. Wow. Say, uh, you got fooled by the little frog, didn't you? Huh? Well, today we're going to be walking the frog. <laughs> Well, that's not exactly what we're gonna do, but it's pretty close. Walking the Frog is a bait presentation that's done with a lure called the Rebel Frog R. And it's actually a takeoff of an old walking the dog method that was first used with the introduction of one of the most famous topwater lures ever made, the Zara Spook. Like the title of the show implies, Walking the Frog, well, that's exactly what we hope to do today with this little fella right here. It's a short, thick, squatty shaped little job that mimics a crippled frog struggling on the surface. It has two sets of treble hooks, but it doesn't have the diving lip or the propellers. When worked properly, it has both body mass as well as the obvious surface swimming action that you create, which doesn't necessarily cause loud disturbances. This bait has no built-in action, but in the hands of a skilled angler, it can produce some amazing bass action. All the action must be produced by the angler, and it depends on the variations used in the type of retrieve that we're gonna be talking about a little bit later on. Whoa, look at here. Nice fish. Pretty one. Easy. Got that light eight pound line. Got eight pound line. Easy now. He ate that little frog up. All right, come up here. Easy now. Let me just get my hands in your face. Look at that nice fish. He had both sides of his face. He couldn't do any good. You know, the key to catching fish on this little fella is making it perform that particular little side-to-side -side walk across the surface action. What I like to do is establish a one, two, three, pause, one, two, cadence, pause and repeat. The hard part is reeling while you do this. What you want to do is reel about a half turn at the same time you're bringing the rod tip down. The downward jerk of the rod pulls the lure to one side. And then, as you raise your rod tip, the slack line lets the lure swing back to the opposite direction. Continuing to twitch it makes the lure dance in a zigzag fashion. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Rebel, Catch Fish Anywhere, Bass Pro Shops, Your Adventure Starts Here, and Mercury Marine. Number one on the water. 
Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by the Emerald Coast Convention and Visitors Bureau. Find out more about the heart of Florida's Emerald Coast at emeraldcoasting.com. Another one right there. See if he'll come back. Came back. Little one. I'll come in here. All right. These are the ones that'll throw a hook in you so quick. Boy, hooks are so sharp. Look at that. That frog, yeah, it'll go in your mouth, but barely. Let me tell you, no one becomes an expert fisherman all at once. It takes some time and practice to achieve the proper cadence and coordination with the rod and reel. But you can be sure it's a technique that's worth learning well because this is a lure you can catch fish with, especially when overall fishing conditions are tough. Let me caution you about this. It's not uncommon for a fish to bulge or swirl the surface near this bait without grabbing the lure. And what you want to do, you always want to wait until you feel the fish before setting the hook. This bait doesn't weigh a whole lot and they'll come up under it and they'll push that water and they'll push that bait away a little bit. Especially a big fish. Boom! I like that. Waiting a few extra seconds will definitely improve your strike catch ratio. I know this is something hard to do, but let me tell you, it really works. Watch this. Whoa, look at here. Where are you? Wow. Well, he cut out of there quick with it. This one right there coming all the way up to the boat with it. Whoa, buddy. Come up here. He hit that thing and was off that end of those spiny bull rush quicker than you could say, stop it. Come here. Come up here now. Easy. Easy. Chunky little thing. Here you are. Okay, see what I mean? It's hard to do, but it'll pay off. Okay, now, when fishing this plug, it's best to use a medium action rod in a six and a half to seven foot length with a soft tip. See that soft tip right there? I don't know if you can see it, but I'll show it to you right here. See that soft tip? Okay, this type action will enable you <clears throat> to twitch your lure sharply. And the added backbone in the rod, right through here, all the way from, say, 20 to 30% off that tip, all the way down through here, all this backbone right through here, well, will allow you to get a good hook set once the fish is taken. it. The fishing line we're using today is Grand Slam fluorocarbon coated, which is an extra strong 100% copolymer with a fluorocarbon outer coating. It's super sensitive, low stretch, has a tremendous knot strength, abrasion resistance, and is virtually invisible and very manageable, either on spinning or bait casting. Today's show is sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. And Tracker Boats, Fish the finest. 
Today's equipment log is brought to you by Motor Guide. Precise control, quiet operation, and unmatched reliability. Motor Guide trolling motors are engineered for anglers. Today's show is sponsored in part by Yamakatsu, world's finest hooks. Grand Slam Mono and Brave, big fish tough for when the money's on the line. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Whoa, look at here. Nice one. Where are you going, buddy? Look at that and cut it. It's full of himself. Easy. You want barely hooked. Wow. Say off for me. Ooh, look at that one. Look at that. When working the lure, it's very important to allow some slack in the line. Otherwise, the lure can't turn off course and walk to the side, which is what you want it to do. Naturally, the more slack you can work with, the wider the bait will swing from side to side. You can usually tell if you're working the bait improperly. If it dips under, you're jerking the rod tip down too much. If it just pivots, give it more slack because your line is too tight. When the bait jumps upward, instead of leveling off in a glide position, the rod is being jerked too high. You just gotta experiment with it. You can learn to fish it. And once you learn, you're gonna be surprised how many fish you can catch on this little thing. Naturally, a long cast provides more line to work with and it's helpful in learning to walk this lure. But a long cast can also cost you fish simply because you don't have the hook setting power at a distance as you do at a shorter range. Plus, you're gonna be a lot more accurate at a short distance than you are at long distances. You just don't wanna overpower this bait. Light action rod, 14 to 18 inches of slack. Hold that rod down, just, it's a lot of wrist. Rod tip, rod wrist, eye coordination. If you try to overpower it, it'll drive you crazy. Too stiff a rod, you'll never get it down. Last one. Here he comes, there he goes. Where's he stop? Nobody knows. Wee! Smooth drag. Don't want a horse with this eight pound line, but I got a good smooth drag system on this little Acris reel. Are you through? Huh? Are you through? Are you through? You come up here. You come up here. Easy now. Don't you do anything with that crazy frog. You got a mouthful of it, didn't you? That sun's shining in your face. So sun doesn't know what it wants to do. One minute it's cloudy, next minute it's sunny. Look at him, look down at that frog. Look at it, you see that frog? You see it? Look at that big brown eye. Huh, see it? But I'm not gonna hurt you. Well, thank you, bye-bye. 
Today's Dancing Lesson is sponsored by Bill Dance on Facebook. Like us on Facebook and join in the Bill Dance Facebook fun. Bill posts all the time, and you'll get more great fishing tips there, too. One of the highlights of my life has always been helping folks learn how to catch fish. And from looking at all the pictures, it looks like the action has been simply great. Fishermen everywhere are showing off their catch to owners of the Bill Dance app. What? You don't have a copy? Well, we can fix that. Simply download our free app on the iPhone, iPad, or Android mobile device and begin showing off your catch to anglers around the world. The fishing tips are free and so is the app. Today's show is sponsored in part by Orca Coolers, the all-American everywhere product, and Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Closed captioning provided by Power Pole, the original shallow water anchor. The lure we're using today is the Rubble Frog R. This model comes in four great colors. It weighs 5 sixteenths of an ounce, and it's 2 and 3 eighths inches long. It's a great topwater lure and one of bass's favorite foods, and one of bass fishing's most effective techniques, the frog and the walk the dog retrieve. I don't know where that fish is going, but he is bigger than I thought he was. That one. Oh, go easy, go easy. Come on back here, bigger. Ooh, strong fish. Look at that one. What a nice fish there, did you? Easy now. Easy. Oh, it's a nice. Come on back up here. Don't get come back up on that boat. Let me go back out. Come on back in here. Oh me. Alright, you're done. You're done. Easy, easy does it, man. Woo! Strong fish. You wanna look at that little frog too, huh? You look at it, look at it. He's looking at it. We're looking at the frogs, looking at you, and you're looking at the frog, huh? <laughs> Fat one there. Something else you don't want to forget, this lure will not perform and switch directions unless the jerk is sharp enough. This frog, like most topwater lures, won't do much of anything unless you do. You've got to manipulate the rod tip to make it come to life. Like I said before, this takes some time and practice, but when you perfect it, there's nothing more exciting. Hold him now. Come up here, buddy. Easy. Now you got a face full of hooks. I gotta go easy with you. There we go. Pretty one. All right, toodaloo. Well, let me tell you, Today is the kind of day that any topwater fisherman loves. Lots of fun, filled with explosive thrills and excitement, especially on light tackle. That's what makes this topwater game so special. The extreme exhilaration that you have when you see a bass bust a topwater plug is without question the ultimate in this great sport we call fishing. So how about it? Don't you think it's time for you to get froggy? <laughs> 
Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. If you're looking for the latest fishing information and tips, be sure to check out the new Bill Dance iPhone and iPad app. Free in the App Store. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin's new Echo Map series of chart plotter sonar combos. These awesome push button units provide the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. Kamikatsu's new G Finesse Drop Shot Hook, designed by tournament great Aaron Martins, features a nano smooth finish that enhances hook penetration, making it the best drop shot hook available. Its tournament grade wire point features a micro barb that's slightly angled out for optimum effectiveness and stays sharper 20% longer. Martins says the new G Finesse Drop Shot Hooks have improved my hookups by 30 to 40%. I rarely miss a fish with these hooks. On a day like today, there's one place I gotta be. Fishing. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Please join us again next week for more great fun fishing. Now I've gone fishing.